Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. Let's look at an unboxing a lot of vintage Masters of the Universe action figures. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, uh, I'm an 80s kid. I was pretty young whenever Masters of the Universe came out, but I remember I have memories and seeing photographs too of uh, me having, I got a Castle Grayskull for Christmas one year and uh, uh, I just remember having Masters of the Universe figures. It was my earliest, probably t my earliest toy recollection of, of having toys as a kid. That and Transformers a little bit, but mainly Masters of the Universe or He-Man. I want to get a collection going of those vintage Motu figures and play sets and all that stuff because uh, it's probably one of the most iconic toy lines from the 80s and probably of all time and where I'm concerned there's definitely some serious nostalgia there so so what I won a lot on eBay uh, paid a pretty penny for it but we'll see what I got I'm gonna piece it all together and make sure I can uh, show it off to you guys properly because what I believe I have here is a really good start to the collection of uh, the majority of these figures being complete with accessories so let's take a look let's uh, get to a different perspective and lay out all these toys and see how they look condition wise and uh, completion of accessory wise okay got them all laid out and I got a note from the seller I found some additional weapons you might enjoy cheers wow and yeah sure enough all these extra weapons and accessories stuff is not what was not pictured in the lot so I've got two extra he-man shields here they're not the best condition but still uh, these things are worth money uh, looks like Manny faces blaster I believe here's a gauntlet for uh, uh, Beastman I think and there's a lot of these weapons that I believe went with Castle Grayskull the weapons pack and stuff uh, here's Tila's shield uh, merman's sword uh, you'd be surprised at how much some of these little individual pieces are worth and for them him to just throw that in there that's pretty cool but here's the figures I got 12 figures all complete except for a few condition wise we'll go through it all right first up we'll look at cyclone um, so his accessory was just a shield and he had he has an action feature where you can spin him around now, he looks pretty good on the, the face and everything, but he is missing the sticker of the little, uh, uh, like, Atlas-looking thing that goes right here. So, unfortunately, I think I might probably just be selling this cy uh, Cyclone and just keeping his shield for whenever I get a better condition one that has that sticker on the front. He's not the, he's one of the more, not, uh, lesser valuable, com more common figures anyways. So then we got uh, Cobra Khan. Uh, he's looking pretty good condition-wise. And he only came with a blaster. But Cobra Khan's gimmick was you fill his body with water and his head is like a little squirt gun. But So I'm really happy with the condition and completeness of Cobra Khan. He's looking good. So that's a keeper for sure. Then we've got another one I'm really liking the condition of is Hordak. He's complete. He's got his crossbow and his uh, whatever this little whoops little bat accessory that goes on his arm. It's hard to keep that on there right now. And he's got a pretty nice cape here too. I could imagine that would have gotten ripped off many times over the years by you know different uh, other figures would have. Uh, all around looking pretty good. Hordak was a he was the ultimate bad guy he wasn't just a bad guy to he-man he was a bad guy to skeletor too he was he was uh just bad all around he was the enemy of both the good and the bad guys so also his whole chest vest and uh, harness and cape everything is uh, one of his accessories as, as well so pay attention to these figures because if you happen to get lucky enough to see some of these in the wild i mean 
and you can get these for a couple bucks if that ever can actually happen this day and age uh, these things are are sought after and worth decent cash then we got spike or one of the evil horde or not horde but one of the evil warriors the horde is hordax evil evil warriors So we got Spike Orr. He had uh, this spike. I can't remember if there was an action that made the spike go in and out. I'll have to double check that. But he has this spike feature on his arm. And of course his whole body is spikes. And he came with the spiked mace. <laughs> and I'm liking the condition of this figure. Oh yeah, pretty much every standard He-Man figure came with a spring action power punch feature. You twist them this way and they, they, they do a power punch. So Spike Or. Then we got a heroic warrior. By the way, I didn't mention that. Uh, Cobra Khan was uh, an evil warrior and uh, Cyclone is a heroic warrior. And then we have a heroic warrior, Roboto. This is a really cool action figure. So he has a modular hand. Uh, that you can pop on. He has three different pop-on accessories that you can all switch out. And then his action feature, when you twist him, he has gears inside and then his, his mouth moves. It's, what a cool retro toy that is. And I'm really happy with everything about this guy, the condition and everything's looking good. So Roboto looking good. Let's see the action. Let's see the action on the back. That's awesome. Then we've got an evil warrior. Too bad. He just came with a shield, or they just came with a shield. So they both have this like bear hug action. You can grab a figure, smash his skull. <laughs> And I'm liking how this figure looks too. Condition wise, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, that's too bad. Then we've got Stinkor. So Stinkor came with a shield and then his chest accessory his armor accessory. He actually, I remember, if I remember correctly, he actually came smelling, he had a smell to him, like on purpose. They put some kind of artificial scent stuff on him because he, he was, he's like at, modeled after a skunk, right? And he actually came out of the pack stinking. <laughs> Let me give a smell. You can tell there was some kind of stuff still there, but it doesn't smell bad or anything. The problem with Stinkor here is his legs have gotten shredded because I guess that kind of material that they use probably to hold that the scent stuff. So unfortunately, like if I can find another better version of Stinkor in the future, I'll I'll sell this one because the legs are pretty shredded. But that's Stinkor. Then we've got Battle Armor He-Man. This was one I actually had as a kid. His arm's kind of loose. Uh, this is one of the ones, only figures that was, was not complete. He's missing his, uh, I guess that's where one of the, the other shields, I believe he still came with a shield, I can't remember. But uh, he didn't have a, a power sword. But he's got his axe and so the Battle Armor He-Man and Skeletor has a feature, Battle Damage. So you reset it by twisting it down. And then as they take damage, so as they take damage, they can take two hits of and change the damage on the, the battle armor. Really cool. The arms are really loose on this guy though. Other than that, I'm and the the the, the problem with He-Man is they have these rubber rubber heads and uh, 
uh, the paint on the face and the hair is it's gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have a really hard time trying to find one that has really good paint still left so there's battle armor he-man and the legs on all these uh, so they used rubber bands system in the legs the legs are all pretty good on these but you know the way that these one way to easily identify masters of the universe figures is uh, they're all in this battle ready pose this bent knee pose so if you ever see a figure that has this bent knee pose like this uh, even if it's not original He-Man Masters of the Universe, even if it's a 80s uh, knockoff, because there was a lot of brands that tried to imitate, you know, knockoff versions, they're they're worth money. So that's a pretty easy way to identify. Pretty much every figure is going to have these bent knee, this bent knee, war, you know, battle stance ready pose to them. Then we've got Battle Armor Skeletor. Paint's looking okay. Uh, this is one of the ones. It's it's uh, technically complete, although his Skeletor's half of the power sword here is pretty damaged, so I'm not really calling that complete. I can't complain though, especially since he gave me all these extra accessories, but the Havoc Staff's looking good. And his, he told me though, and yeah, he disclosed that the battle armor feature isn't working properly. The spring is messed up, but that's okay. I might figure out how to repair that or wait till I get another version and upgrade and I could sell this one. I'm just really happy that this Havoc Staff is looking nice. It's a pretty good Havoc Staff. So that's Battle Armor Skeletor. So now we have the most powerful man in the universe, He-Man. Uh, the condition is not as good as I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. Um, his, his Power Punch feature is broken the spring inside so he's his waist is really loose and the paint on his face and stuff isn't as good as I could tell in the picture I thought it was a little bit better than that but it's all good uh, he's fine as a centerpiece for the collection for now and then if I get a better version uh, but if you can find an original he-man like this 1981 Taiwan is what it says on the back Mattel 1981 Taiwan right here on the, the back. Uh, complete like this and in decent condition. They can sell from $50 to $150, just depending on the condition, I would say, and, and the, of course the completeness. So he has a his shield, his battle axe, and then his half of the power sword, and his chest harness. So there he is, He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Arguably like uh, modeled after Conan the Barbarian, Arnold, a.k.a. Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was lawsuits that happened because of it. I opened one of these brand new as a kid, so it's pretty neat to have it in my hands again. And the figure looks pretty good. I mean, good enough to keep in my collection unless I happen to somehow come across a, a nicer one. So I'm happy. So then we got Prince Adam. Uh, he has his half of the or his pink power sword here. So Prince Adam is He-Man before he transforms into He-Man. Whenever he raises his magic sword, uh, he says, "By the power of Grayskull," and becomes He-Man. Right. So, anyways, uh, Prince Adam is not complete because he does not have his cloth vest. The vest that pink vest that came with Prince Adam is made out of this felt light cloth and good luck finding one that's in good condition you know <laughs> there was actually a Goodwill auction that had one and I was I had already won this auction so I couldn't go after that one because it was selling for good money too uh, condition wise he's okay again he's just I'll hang on to him I might I might consider selling him and just trying to use that money to help offset the cost of the lot and wait till I'll see if I can get a better version of him. I guess the figure itself ain't too bad. The head paint is a little bit worn out. Again, like on He-Man 2. It's hard to find those faces intact. Because these, these toys were played with, man. But that's Prince Adam. And then finally we got Moss Man. Moss Man also used to have like this... He kind of still does... He has like this piney smell to him, 
because he's flocked and that's where they put this artificial fur on him so artificial moss i guess if you will and his accessory was this mace mace is kind of chewed up a little bit but it's fine i'd say he's okay Obviously, when you're collecting these figures, as you if you buy lots, you may find, a, let's say, a Moss Man that's better condition. You'll trade it out, sell off the, the one that's not as good. Same with any of the other figures or accessories or anything like that. So, and this guy's adopted some pet hair along over the years, it looks like. <laughs> so, yeah, Moss Man. Pretty cool. The flocking's still pretty decent, I would say. The head is like the same head as Beast Man, just with moss on it. They that's how they redid the reused the, a lot of the molds and stuff. And so that is the start of my vintage Masters of the Universe collection. Pretty happy all in all, just with the completeness. You know, condition can be upgraded on certain ones, but uh, for the most part, I'm pretty happy. Highlights I think condition-wise were the Cobra Con and the Roboto. I think those were the ones were in the best condition. Oh, and the Hordak. I think that's maybe the number one, my, my, my favorite, as far as condition-wise. And uh, it's cool to have a complete He-Man and, and all that stuff too. And then I've got all these accessories to see if anything is worth, maybe I might want to sell or, you know, stuff like these shield, Tila shield. I eventually might come across a Tila, you know, and I can complete some of these out. But I'll research what some of these things are. Like, I don't even know what this is. I don't remember what that would be. It might be from a different toy line that I don't care about. I could sell some of this stuff and recoup some of my cash there. And uh, yeah, I'll probably sell this, the Cyclone because he's missing that front plate. So I prayed a pretty pain for this. If I were to try to just flip it all, I could make a profit. Probably not. I, I don't know if I'd be able to double my money, but I might be get pretty close, especially with these extra accessories and stuff thrown in. Because you'd be surprised. Look at the comps sometimes on just some of these these vintage Masters of the Universe weapons and accessories and stuff. You'd be surprised at how much of some of them may sell for individually. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting uh, stories of toy nostalgia or anything like that. eBay ideas for videos. Whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And have a good one.